Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. However, it looks like a little night ninja took off with his card, as they sometimes do. <laughs> but lucky for Jack, he can freeze his missing debit card with a tap of his mobile app. And even if his card is stolen or lost for good, he can go to any Gate City Bank location to get a new card issued instantly. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. As the first snow of the year settled on Grand Forks, UND welcomed defending national champion Denver to town for a big conference clash. Having not swept at the Ralph since 2010, Pioneers were aiming to do just that. Good find, center of the ice and in the back of the net for Carter King. One nothing Denver. Sidorski tried to feed it in front, it got there in the end, and Griffin Ness is there to bang it home. All the stand now, this is in the back Denver back in front here in the third. McLaughlin, five seconds, shot wide, two to go. Triple zeros on the board. The Denver Pioneers will collect all three points tonight. Number 12, North Dakota, number two, Denver. Game two underway. North Dakota on the attack. One nothing UND, seven seconds in. What a start for the home team. Nice. But one by UND, can they get the clear? They cannot. Thompson, power play goal for the Pioneers. And they retake the lead late in the seconds. Empty net to aim for it, he does not miss. And that will do it from the Ralph this evening. Yeah, obviously not our best. But I think it was like a good learning experience for us. Um, can't really pinpoint what we need to work on more. And, you know, I mean, I think there's growing pains in every year. And just a little bump in the road for us. They're a good team, and I think uh, you know the biggest thing for us we got uh, we got to improve, we got to be better, uh, we got some areas to work on, and uh, I think it just shows we're not uh, to our playing to our capability yet. With the fans we get and with the support we get, it's just we don't want to lose at home. It's almost unacceptable to get swept at home. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just it's early in the season. We just got to put it behind us. We got a lot to work on here in practice. First and foremost is sticking together as a team. I'm um, not letting uh, everything from the outside um, get down into our locker room. But I think one of the things we're uh, talking about this week is just embracing the hard and not waiting for it to get easier. You got to make sure that it's not a time where you start to point fingers because when there's adversity, it's kind of easy to try to point fingers. But it's, it's a time where you got to come together as a team and try to push each other to do the best we can be. On the surface, tennis and hockey don't have a lot in common. But for Chris Jandrick, the hard courts of British Columbia helped him develop skills he still transfers to the ice today. I've been playing on and off at my grandma's place in Phoenix, Arizona, ever since I was probably five or six years old. We'd go down there for Christmas time, and my brother and I would just beat the ball around. The courts were available all the time, and they had a ball machine. So, um, you know, they had all kinds of things for us, and I was like, you know what, like, I kind of want to get into it a bit. The high school team has a team and um, a couple of my hockey buddies were there and I was like, hey, like, let's join the tennis team and I think that was in grade 10 and end up doing doubles and singles. I think we came third in doubles, but I ended up winning singles uh, in Northern BC, so I did that. All right, just how you started here. Come on, Crisper. After winning the uh, Northern Championship, I was like, yeah, I might have a shot here, but then I looked at some of the players and I was like, yeah, there's no shot that I'm going to ever have a chance. So grade 10 was maybe my peak of my uh, tennis career. I liked it, but for, for the most part, I stuck with hockey. Okay, I got to get you some better film here. Give me a sec. 
I think the biggest thing is being mentally strong and taking that over towards hockey as well because you are only focusing on, on yourself here. So I know hockey is a team game, but you, you get your ups and downs there in hockey. So I think trying to incorporate that mental health and the mental stability that you have in tennis can uh, cross on over into hockey. That was a good one. Did you get that one? 80,000 people live in Prince George. It's uh, central of BC, but uh, it's considered northern BC. Um, it's the northern capital. It's kind of nowhere anywhere close and big. So um, growing up playing hockey, we always had to travel eight hours to Kamloops, to Kelowna, to Vancouver. Even Edmonton and Calgary were eight hours away. So we were like that central hub, but um, we were a bigger city, but didn't have anyone close to play hockey against. 30, 40. Is that long? Good, good, good. My brother and I flew up to Alaska not knowing anything about college hockey and right away they're like, yeah, we want you. We'll give you this for scholarship and everything. And we're like, yeah, sure, this is cool. Like we didn't know much about college hockey and uh, we, we, we jumped right on it. Coach Eric Larson had a spot for me there and put me in key roles right away. So um, I think that was a big thing for my development. Unfortunately, the third year was the COVID year and I thought, you know what, what the heck, I may as well do as much schooling as I can. So did eight classes each semester, so I think 24 credits and then graduated early just to look for my options there. And from there, um, North Dakota was uh, a stepping stone for me and how can you say no to this place? It's, it's winning culture and everything. So um, we jumped on the opportunity right away. Jandrick, he scores! Chris Jandrick from the point! You just can't say no to this place. Um, it's awesome. I have nothing but great things to say. Um, the fans, the community, the school, the coaches, the team, it, it's awesome. I think spending five years in college is uh, what I kind of wanted to do. I just try and play as much as I can and just being with the guys as much as I can. I know here like we have such an awesome group, so um, it's so tough to, to leave these guys. We're such a tight-knit group here and everything, and uh, I'm excited to see how we do this year. I know uh, when they have the intro video come on, I, I get goosebumps all the time. It's, it's pretty surreal. It's something that I wish everyone could experience, but only 27 guys get to experience that each year. So I was fortunate to have another year here, so I'm going to cherish it as much as I can. With the new week comes a new opponent. The time to dwell on a tough Denver series has passed, and the team now looks ahead to another home series against NCHC competition. We came in Monday. It's a uh... It's a new week, can't dwell on what's, uh, what already happened, can't change that. We know there's uh, areas to improve on, we know it's a learning process. We look at what you need to do better for the next week, so we're looking at video of what we did wrong and areas we can improve and then we're going to go and implement those into practice and then hopefully implement them into the game. Intensity is a huge thing for us lately. We need to have that energy at all times. I think that really plays into our, our 60 minute problem that we've been having. We just need to make sure that we're playing together um, as a as a unit, everyone's on the same page. We've got to just play with the hard skill. We've got to play fast and just play together. we just got to be supporting pucks, um, just playing physical and just playing North Dakota hockey. I don't think we're a team that's like filled with pressure and fear, to be honest with you. I think we're, we know how great we are and how good we can be. And we just look at a, an opponent like any other one. We're really focused on ourselves and just making sure we do the right things. They're always a hard team to play against. Obviously, every team in CHC uh, has grit and skill at the same time. So. It's extremely important this weekend, um, not only get the conference points and being at home, but uh, a good bounce back from, from our previous weekend. Yeah, it's huge. It's obviously the league games are, are really important. It's not a non-conference game, so we got to play it like it's our last game. we got to try to get the points, so that's what we're going to do. That's a great thing about the growing pains is that we get it next weekend. It's, it's not the end of the season. There's still a long road ahead of us, so we're ready for this weekend.